Whoa, I could read this all day long. But today's video is about a reflex arc. How do you draw one? And what are the five different parts of a reflex? So let's jump to the board and let's draw it out. So if we're drawing a reflex arc, we gotta know that a reflex is something that is protective of the body. If you touch something that's hot, and you pull your hand away, the withdrawal reflex, that is your body instinctually pulling your arm away in order to protect it from being burnt any further. But we know there's five main components of a reflex arc. Let's draw the first one. And if we start with this candle, And if you touch that, that's the receptor in your hand. So there's receptors in your skin that we learned that would pick up the stimulus of, hey, this is a hot candlestick. That's number one. That's number one right here. Number two, traveling along the afferent sensory neuron. This is a neuron and part of the nervous system that carries that information, that sensory information that, hey, you just touched something hot, over to the spinal cord. The spinal cord is number three the integration center of a reflex arc, where this signal will travel in posteriorly through the dorsal root, through the dorsal horn, synapse, and then travel out, number four, the efferent, e, efferent neuron the motor neuron. This is gonna send a motor response over to, let's say, muscles. So this is number five, an effector organ. So this could be like your biceps causing you to contract and pull your hand away from that hot candle, or this could be like your quadriceps when you stretch your quadriceps and then they contract to move. And the effector organ can be a muscle or it can be something like your heart or your lungs could be an effector organ. So make sure you know one, two, three, four, and five different parts of a reflex part.